guys it's tori welcome to or welcome back to my channel today guys we're going to be doing my makeup routine i feel like this is highly requested i feel like a lot of people want to know how to do my makeup if you follow me on tiktok you probably know a little bit more about how i do my makeup than most people but if you're just a youtube girly you're just part of the youtube family i'm gonna give you guys my quick makeup routine and if you guys see this over here my cat scratched me literally he jumped on my face while i was sleeping i do not know why he did that but y'all the most important part of a makeup routine is definitely skin prep. It's the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. Even if you like doing a matte makeup, you still want to make sure your skin is hydrated because that's going to help the makeup lay properly. Like, I cannot stress this enough. Skin prep is so, 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 so important. I haven't really been into wearing foundation, so I've been using the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. Okay, I've been getting so many compliments. You guys know she's that girl. Now, if you see my armpits, she's not shaved right now, so don't say anything about my armpits. Shade number two, by the way. Um, I don't know if I should put makeup over my scratch. I'm a little scared, but... Okay, yes. oh, no. This is a Frankie Rose Cosmetics brush. Their foundation 90 brush, and I just blend this out. I do the steps of my makeup routine a little differently than I feel like most people do. The Milk Makeup Bronzer Stick in the shade Days. These little sticks are the best thing that ever happened to me. Milk Makeup actually sent them over to me, and I've only tried a few shades. They blend like butter. They look so good. I, I take my bronzer and put it above my cheekbone, but I started doing it higher because ever since my homegirl Kaylin did my makeup. I just feel like I've been forever changed and it like really sculpted my face the way that she did it so I just put it a little bit above my cheekbone to lift my face and then you know everywhere else where you would bronze this is a makeup by Ario brush I don't know what number this is because my cats literally chewed on it what compelled them to chew on a makeup brush I don't know because they never do anything like that so the fact that they chewed on the makeup brush really just did it for me I do run a little bit of this down my nose but I'm not too, too big on nose contour. I only contour my nose if I know I'm gonna be out. The next thing that I've been loving, this is the YSL Lip and Cheek Balmy Tint. This is in the shade, I think, New Flush. I'm not gonna use it today just because it got that oil all over it and that's just like icky to me. I don't wanna use it right now. I'm gonna like, let it sit for a couple days because like that's like a weird thing I have. I don't like when stuff gets like all weird and cross-contaminated. So I'm just gonna let it sit for a few days. This is the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush in the shade Bliss. I like to do my blush before my concealer. I just feel like it blends everything together a little bit more. It's more seamless, because I take my blush underneath my eye. So that's the key, like blend your blush up underneath your eye. So when you put on your concealer, everything just blends all seamlessly. This brush is a e.l.f. angled blush brush. It has been lifing a little bit. Um, I've been kind of, I've been trying to figure out my work situation. I don't know if you guys knew this on here, but if you follow me on TikTok, no, I do not work for Sephora anymore. I don't know if the YouTube family knew that I worked for Sephora to begin with, but I stopped working for Sephora. Much love to the company itself. I love Sephora as a company, but the job just wasn't for me. Um, so I have a different job. I'm sure as you guys know, because I'm actually I'm actually getting ready for work right now. I love my coworkers, so I actually get excited to go to work, but I'm just a little bit tired sometimes, you know what I mean? So, babe, come here. <laughs> I can't even see it, babe. Oh. You guys can't even see what that is, but I'm sure you can guess what it is. Hey. Oh, you just had to do that. So for concealer, I also like to switch up my concealers a little bit too, but I've been loving the Lancome Tinsy Doll all over concealer. And if I do wear a foundation, it's the Lancome one too. My TikTok girlies know that I love the Lancome foundation. If you're looking for a natural finish, the Lancome one is that girl. But this is the shade 215 and I always mix concealers. I never just use one concealer. This is the concealer placement I use to get a lifted look. For my second concealer, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way. Y'all need to get this. I know it was just on sale for Ulta at the um, 21 Days of Beauty. Y'all need to go get this. It's so good. This is the shade Snow and I focus this more in the highlighted areas. A little of this goes a long way. So if you're not going for that full coverage look, be sparing with this because it's gonna go a long 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 way this is my favorite brush for blending out concealer this is the real techniques setting brush this is my favorite favorite brush for blending out my concealer and if i don't use this one the runner-up is the real techniques deluxe crease crease <laughs> crease um runner-up is the deluxe crease brush from real techniques real techniques brushes are so good especially if you're looking for something a little bit more affordable like i've literally never used a super expensive brush other than maybe the most expensive brushes i've used are morphe brushes i've used it cosmetic brushes on other people clients but never myself i don't know i just am not one to invest in brushes me and my amazon brushes are going to do what we need to do but i do feel like a good set of brushes goes a long way i want to love that makeup by mario concealer so bad you follow me on tiktok you saw that i did the little review for it but then 
I tried it again a second time after I did the review and the wear test. And when I tell you guys it creased on me like nothing has ever creased on me before, it looked so bad. And I just think creasing is so embarrassing. I hate when my makeup creases. I absolutely cannot stand it. I was sitting here at the work event with my makeup super, super creased. And it's like I want to love it so bad. And I know Makeup by Mario stuff is so good. I used to sell it all the time when I worked at Sephora. This stuff is so good. But something, I don't know if it was like user error or what, but a lot of people are saying it's super, 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 super creasy. Which we just can't have that, not in 2023. For my first setting powder, I use the e.l.f. I think this is the Halo Glow setting powder. What is this called? I know it's in the shade light, but it's like Halo flow, Halo filter, Halo Glow filter setting powder. It's something like that. This is the Makeup by Ariel. It's a brush. I don't know if these have numbers on them, but it's a Makeup by Ariel brush. I used to use a powder puff to set my under eye, but I need to buy some new ones. So until I get some new ones, setting with a brush just gonna have to do i set my face with the fenty beauty lavender brightening powder just because i love a bright under eye i want a super bright under eye which is not for an everyday look i use the one size stage white powder girl if you want a white bright under eye that's the powder to use okay i like to do the second layer of makeup after i set my under eyes which is my powder product this is the fenty beauty bronzer in prep island i love her bronzers they're so 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 good the bronzer where i put the cream bronzer just to set everything in place and to help tie everything together make everything a lot more seamless just love how that blends everything together like mm -hmm. see she's cute this is so old and disgusting at this point this is my milani luminoso blush girls that get it get it okay by all of the makeup girlies back in the day were raving about milani luminoso because it's just that girl it's so cute it's so cute i love recommending this to people who want that perfect peachy blush some days i do like to do a little bit to my eyes this is the lancome hypnos palette and number one french nude i just take this brown shade right here and give myself a little wing so i'm taking the maybelline express brow brow pencil in the shade what shade is this deep brown and i really have no specific way that i like to fill in my brows and then i use the same concealer i use to conceal my face to do my brows going to use before i drop them on the floor are the lily lashes in flirtatious but now i'm going to use the ones in passionate and i do cut my lashes a little bit just to fit my eye just because i like ones that flare out on the outer corner so i kind of cut it i cut the inner corner a little bit just so they fit my eye better my biggest tip for putting on lashes is taking like a little handheld mirror and looking down like this into the mirror to put them on lily lashes i was never one to spend a lot of money on lashes a lot of these look so adorable i see why people spend money on them do you remember when i used to do dodo lashes or do y'all remember dodo lashes and i was an affiliate for them and i had the little code do y'all remember that do you because that's like so crazy and that was so long ago and i was such a baby and it's just like that's so insane to me that i really have come such a long way finishing touches on my makeup routine i always include urban decay space cowboy Still second to my lovely space cowboy is my fenty beauty diamond bomb and i put this everywhere for setting sprays i use the urban decay all-nighter either the vitamin c or the regular one it really doesn't matter to me i'm going to use the regular one lip combo this is the nyx line loud lip pencil in rebel kind true brown if you want a really nice brown i recommend this to everybody take my Juvia's Place lipstick. This is in the shade Nubian Sand. I take my next butter gloss in the shade Fortune Cookie. This is one of my favorite lip glosses of all time. This is the Lancome Juicy Tube in Miracle. And this is just the topper for the lip combo. Or a setting spray. 
this is the final look you guys this is my go-to everyday makeup routine i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys learned something learned about some new products or something i love you guys so much and i'll catch you guys in the next one